Today we will be using 99 overall Ryan Fitzpatrick and we'll also have him on a full 50 out of 50 Dolphins team team. Now, first things first, let's check out the stats. So on Ryan Fitzpatrick right here, he has 92 speed, will be up to 96 with the theme team plus the Sugar Rush track card. So extremely mobile. He's six foot two, has 99 throw power with amazing accuracies as well. But we all know this game for quarterbacks kind of ability driven. So right now, Ryan Fitzpatrick's uh, last ability bucket right here is actually broken. So he's someone that can get the quad sack for four AP. In this spot, he should get set feet lead and gunslinger for zero, Hara Master for one. I kind of can't use this bucket because they dropped the card and it's broken. And then he's just like every other QB, like he can get one AP almost everything else, like set feet lead. He can get two AP Hara Master, which does kind of suck right now. But again, in this spot, he could get it for one. And then again, on top of this, he could get a zero AP gunslinger. So he's quad stack for four AP, which is really, really nice. Has Gen 3 as a release. And since the last time we made Dolphins team, team what has changed with the team we did get 99 overall calvin i know he's not really a dolphin but he gets the chem and on the defensive side of the ball i believe everything has stayed the same oh we did pick up trey white dolphins great he gets the team chem and we finally did pick up uh, shaquille leonard maniac the ak we're running two unstoppable forces today and yeah this is what the updated team is looking like man with that being said let's hop into a game and see how good this ryan fitzpatrick is and of course we got to start out on defense right here we're watching the middle of the field oh we're gonna be on this little spot route there's nothing open and our unstoppable forces almost get there again we're just watching the middle of the field we're gonna be on this spot route again right there and that is trey white dolphins great with the interception all right y'all it seems like he's gonna be sending the dogs at us so we're gonna try to hit our tight end on a corner route this time and gronk should be wide open and yep easy throw easy touchdown now he's running the empty i'm kind of scared we're gonna go on the drag the entire way and that should not be open derwin can we get the ko all right boys second and ten right here i want to make him like try to make me respect something Thank other you. than Come the middle again. of the field and that's bdr jalen ramsey with the pick and we're gonna go down though we're gonna go down we need to get fitz magic another touchdown and it looks like he's gonna go ahead and quit as well gg all right y'all game number two right here hopefully we can keep it going he has ryan Tannehill at qb um interesting strat interesting strat look i was thinking about doing a ryan Tannehill gameplay on the channel but you see what happened was they like made his ability buckets terrible right here we're gonna be on this drag route the entire way we don't get the ko all right boys this time he's in the single back wing we're gonna be watching this post the entire way that's d wow wow it just made me you know it's my fault because i broke rule number one of this game you never click on if when you click on bad things happen right here he's on the defensive line all right this guy is going to be on the uh defensive line okay interesting let's see does he does he have the strat does he have the strat right here we have chris carter he's just getting no pressure at all right here we're looking for waddle on the sideline looks like he uh isn't even going to send like a blitz at us or anything right there we have waddle and waddle doesn't get his toes in cool he has not ran man at all so we're going to verticals we should have calvin right here wide open don't even have to worry about the user under pressure ryan fitzpatrick gets in the end zone let's go man all right y'all now it's second and 19 we're just again watching the middle of the field with our user want to see what he goes to he's not gonna have verts open he would have had the end route open i'm not clicking on the dion and dion this time gets the interception we're gonna go down though we want to get some big plays with fitz magic i hope we get enough time right here because i want to hit waddle late deep and i guess we could hit him in the middle of the play right there too he gets a ko this time i'm looking for Gronk on the sideline and we should have gronk right here good little laser he's just staying in a uh, cover four this time every play this time we're looking for a uh, calvin right here up the seams we should have him and i should say um gen three i feel like isn't bad like i'm trying to mix up what i'm throwing at like different like depths like deep like deep passes short passes you know what i'm saying and i feel like it's overhated i i really don't think it's like the worst release in the game i would say it's like an in between slinger three and slinger one like, it's not, like, better than either of those, but it does some things that Slinger 3 does with, like, the deep ball a little bit worse. And it's not terrible with the quick game either, but again, it's, like, no Slinger 1. So, I, so, I, so I'm not saying it's, like, up there with Slinger 1 or Slinger 3, but I don't think it's bad. I feel like it's way overhated, especially when you get Gunslinger. Like, I feel like it's fine right now, and if we had Gunslinger on top of this, it'd be even better. All right, y'all, back on defense right here. Hopefully, we can get another interception. All right, boys, second and 10 this time. He's going with the screen, and he just... Just threw it to a streak. That's BDR Jalen Ramsey with the pick. All right, our goal this play is to go deep. We're looking for Calvin for the one play. Can we have Calvin? Calvin, one play touchdown. Come on, Calvin. 
Laser man, come on. And that's gonna go ahead and be GG's, man. All right, y'all, start a game number three right here. And of course, once again, we gotta start out on defense, right? I feel like that's just, I feel like that's just the rules when we get game plays right here. We're gonna be on Calvin the entire way on the drag. Can Derwin get there? Derwin, get the pick. Derwin with the again. interception, first play. Also, I'm in a different playbook right here. We are in the Denver Broncos playbook. Wanna attack more like vertically and deep down the field. Uh, so we're running bunch to tight like a loser, but we are gonna start off right here with the read option. Ryan Fitzpatrick, take it, take it, take it, and he's gonna get the first. But yeah, what I like about this is the fact that we can go from like bunch to uh, PA shot seams, and they have a pretty good bunch as well. Uh, this time right here, we're looking for Chris Carter or we're looking for Jalen Waddle on the sideline, and we should have both. Why right there, Jalen Waddle with the laser man fits magic to Jalen Waddle in the end zone, man. Let's go. He's in gun split twins right now, and I am actually terrified. I am terrified. We're gonna be on Gronk this entire way. I feel like I've already said it in this video but that John Madden card is just a beast dude like he he is actually the greatest pass rusher in the game and it makes no sense right here again we're just watching the middle of the field oh he could maybe have Calvin right there oh wow oh wow our backed up outside quarter just got torched like that thank god BDR recovered and I mean we don't have match on or anything so kind of crazy that he got torched like that again right here we're gonna be on Calvin this time and that we changed him into a third Ramsey thank with you. the Come pick again. BDR he's had like four interceptions on the day and we're gonna get another rage quit yeah so yeah let's talk about Ryan Fitzpatrick and Dolphins team team as a whole will he be taking this man's spot right here to uh not for me. I just like Slinger 1 a lot more than Gen 3, especially with how I run my offense. But if you're running like tight or if you're running like a more like deep passing offense, uh, I would say Fitzmagic would be better for, for that specific offense. But for me, Tua is still the guy and also Tua is my favorite player in the league. So I can't bench him. But I think this Ryan Fitzpatrick card is really, really good. Again, can get the quad sack for 4 AP. It sucks that his last ability bucket when I was recording just wasn't working and, it, and they released him broken. And also right now, Ryan Fitzpatrick is currently going for 800k do i think he's worth that price i'm gonna go ahead and say no because there's a lot of qbs that are better than him and get the quad sack for cheaper than him that are going for like less and i believe some are even going for like 300k like this card probably shouldn't even be going for more than like ryan shazier qb if we're going based on like how good each of those cards are but this card was a ton of fun to use as well so i think he's super usable i think he's good you can use him do i think he's worth this price no will he be my starting qb for dolphin steam team again no. But yeah, y'all, hope y'all did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did. Now, if you want to see me play with this Dolphin theme team live, check the links in the description. Hit that Twitch with a follow. We've been grinding the streams over there, so I would greatly appreciate that. Now, if you don't feel like head over to Twitch and you want another video to watch, check this one out right here. I used every single one of the Hawaiian Heritage Month cards.